surprise. Okay, that's good. Uh, in large companies, uh, where they have a separate team for developers, a separate, a separate team for designers, and another set of uh, team for marketeers and content and communication specialists. Normally for these large companies, these teams are separate. And in my experience as a, uh, as an, I have been employed for the last, uh, for, for, uh, for more than a decade as, as a part of web, web, web teams. And also as a freelance uh, uh, since 2000, as long as I can remember. <laughs> And since 2014, I have already uh, focused on this business for uh, in web design development in SEO. In all of those years, I have I have uh, uh, I have seen the uh, I have actually experienced this gap between developers and the marketing teams. So we'll cover that. We'll have some insights on that, and then we'll quickly cover the SEO standards and best practices. And to cover that, we have on page and off of page search optimization. But all of these specifically, um, when we're dealing with Drupal uh, development, Drupal design, Drupal theming, and Drupal deployment in general. Okay. So if you have questions, just feel free to you know, uh, you don't have to wait for the last topic. Just feel free to you know raise your hand and speak up. Um, Interrupt me anytime, that's okay. Konti lang naman tayo. Everyone here knows, uh, understands Tagalog? Everyone, I think, right? Yes. All right. Okay. So, what are the, uh, what are Google algorithms? Uh, Google search algorithms, not Google algorithms. I'll edit that. What are Google search algorithms? These are, these are updates by Google search by Google, um, that they apply to their search engine, uh, which, which, affects the, which affects search results uh, as we see it and as we search for it. Okay, these are important to understand as SEO specialists. So you would know what to expect if this particular update is gonna be positive, or it's gonna be negative, your particular use case or to your particular scenario or to your particular projects. These are important to, it is important to follow Google search updates so you would be equipped, you would be ready on, on the changes that will be happening sometimes overnight, sometimes it takes weeks, sometimes it takes months for those effects to be felt by, by by webmasters and search specialists. So that's important. So what are Google search algorithms? Basically, yeah, as what I've said, uh, just go over later on the presentation for those bullet points. Um, but we'll have to cover the last, um, as I've said, the last, um, the latest updates that has happened for the last two years. 2020 and 2019. And what are these? Uh, these are, okay, before going to the last two years, I think I need to, you know, just uh, uh, orient or remind you or refresh you on, on, the, on the most important algorithms that has happened over the years. Okay, these are, I think this is, listed by by the periods or the dates that it has up that has happened okay fred being the most latest intrusive interstate in, in officials updates uh, and then so on and so forth panda and penguin happened way back around 2000 uh, mid 2000 uh, even early early to mid 2000 Panda and Penguin that, that shook the whole SEO world. Okay, before Panda and Penguin, what is Panda and Penguin updates? Panda and Penguin killed uh, Google search spamming. Those two killed, including Hummingbird. 
those those three fields uh, Google uh, duplicates uh, duplicate results. It killed uh, keyword spamming. You know, uh, if you will, I guess uh, some of you heard some some of you here have been in the web industry for for the last decade already, um, including Paul and myself. <laughs> okay, we have experienced those those uh, those days, um, those days when you know uh, to run to ramp up a website it's just a matter of you know putting in as much as keywords as you can uh, regardless if it makes sense or not uh, in the footer in the body or in the page titles and those uh, those those uh, those strategies normally ramp your websites up but google has taken note of that that a lot of people are doing that so that's bordering on Black Hat SEO already. So Google released Panda, Penguin, and Hummingbird uh, updates, which killed those uh, those Black Hat SEO, which eventually was really essential because it improved the search experiences of, uh, of users in general, of everyone in general. So before, uh, way back, around 2000 search results are not very are not very are not very useful or relevant you have to actually sift through the search results to get the correct the correct information the most relevant information and the latest information but with panda and penguin and hummingbird when these updates were rolled out by google it, it improved the search results. Uh, the experience uh, of searching for information um, using Google search. Okay. Rank brain, uh, this, this, uh, this has to do with, with a lot of knowledge graphs. If you notice the, if you search for example, I think I need to, I need to make some demonstrations. So, for example, if you search for uh, if you search for something uh, like, for example, we have a lot of clients in the IT IT business and IT solutions industry. So, it's, if you search for example, VMware, uh, maybe Cisco, Cisco. And you get this panel here on the right side, okay? It carries the brand, which is Cisco Systems, and some information here. And this particular information here, that's Wikipedia, right? But if you will notice, this, this panel here is not, is, not, is not limited only to one, to one information like, you know, Wikipedia. It's sort of it's a sort of a mix and match of information coming in from different sources. We have a snippet here uh, or a description of Cisco systems coming in from Wikipedia. You have another information here about the stock, I don't know, their stock status or their stock uh, information coming in also from another source of information, aggregated information. Uh, presented by Google. Uh, this particular line here was fetched and um, was actually fetched from another algorithm within Google search and displayed here. And the customer service, this is another from, from Google search. All of these are from Google search actually. Okay, but we have social media profiles which Google displayed uh, coming in from LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, and whatever social media platforms they are in. And also some, some uh, what do you call this? These are suggestions uh, that, Google, that Google as a, as a smart engine has, has sort of assumed that you might be also interested in. 
or maybe uh, rel um, another information that may be relevant besides Cisco. Okay. So if you will notice, this particular panel here is now is is aggregating and collecting information and presenting it in a smart way uh, and pres being presented to you in in this nice uh, panel here on the right side. So that happened uh, during the rank brain and 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 other and other. I guess at some point with the Fred update that happened there and this got improved okay and this got you know this came up and this is a very useful useful um, panel of information for us before around 2000 we do not have this okay so a lot can happen here every time every time there's an update from google sometimes a map gets inserted sometimes some uh, some reviews get inserted it will depend on the industry or the niche or the topic that a user is searching for. If this is something like, you know, let's search for, for example, a recipe. Ano bang kakainin natin mamaya? Maybe gusto natin paella. Kunyari may dami kong paella and I have the time to cook for that paella recipe. Okay. For this, for this uh, instance, for this example, you do not have a knowledge graph or a knowledge panel on the right side. Since uh, this is not, this is more, this is more than your your search query is, does not have to do with a particular brand or a particular a particular commercial or proprietary information, but this has to do with uh, a recipe, uh, specifically paella. And since you said by, uh, recipe, uh, Google has highlighted the first, the first uh, items here on the top, which has to do with recipes. But on the bottom part, this can have, see, okay, this is what uh, the latest Google updates has done. Before, when we search for paella recipe, what you will get are not purely recipes. You can sometimes have, um, I don't know, um, information not related to recipe, but talking about paella, you can have that. But after the, the, last, two, uh, uh, the last two years, updates by Google, this has been improved. When Google, uh, uh, detects that a user is searching for um, a keyword plus the uh, keyword recipe, it immediately shows you, <coughs> it immediately uh, gives uh, importance or, or highlight to search results that are specifically recipes. So that's why you have that. And another thing to note, um, this area here, people also ask. That's part of the Fred update. Okay, uh, will this uh, will will get to learn more about Fred later on. Uh, this part here, the the people ask portion. Uh, this was a recent development over the last two years. Uh, this has been in the making for the last ten, for the last five years or so by Google. But this has been rolled out. For the last, especially for the last three years, especially within the year and late last year, so this has in, in this has been improved, you know, uh, because without this particular people ask panel, what you will get are generic um, search on recipes, right? But Google has somehow uh, collated the information, collated collated user experiences that sometimes people are using long tail, long tail queries like what are the main ingredients for paella? People do that, especially your your common uh, your common or uh, your you know your normal user, not your regular SEO specialist or your regular digital marketing expert. 
uh, normal people, uh, they tend to use long tails. What are long tails? Very long and very specific um, questions like, uh, what are the best uh, Drupal SEO modules? That's a long tail. A short tail would be Drupal SEO modules. Okay. It, it makes a difference. Okay. Because Google search will, will, you know, have a slight difference in presenting information for you. If you use a short tail as opposed to using a long tail, right? Okay, those are long tails. So this particular panel here sort of collated those information. Google collated those uh, top queries or top uh, long tail questions, and they have they have sort of presented it here, like you know. Uh, most people have been using, have been searching for this, have been searching for what is the best wise for Paella. And he had highlighted that already. Since by, experience, by their experience, this is uh, one of the most common questions being searched for in Google search. So that's the reason why it's there. And it happened uh, specifically during the Fred update, all right? Okay. So going back some more, um, the last five years has also seen the mobile Geddon. What is this? Uh, parang Armageddon, di ba? <laughs> it's the killer, it's the world killer. Di ito naman, mobile Geddon, uh, this sort of, you know, sort of killed desktop SEO. Okay? Meaning, um, if you will... I guess uh, some of you guys are already using Google search, uh, Google search analytics. So uh, maybe we can, we can, yeah, I have transformers here. Why? Later on you will see. <laughs> okay. If we, we will go into Google search analytics, uh, Google search trends, that's useful. Google search analytics. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Google's, uh, Google is trying to hide Google search analytics already. He's trying to you know, promote niya yung, um, if you go to Google search console, right? for example, this one. If you go to, he's trying to promote um, all the all of its services in one package so that's why hindi mo na masyado makita pag search <coughs> in any case uh later we'll go into that what i'm saying is on on mobile get on what happened here is google uh, google saw that that a lot of people have been using mobile already and, um, as opposed to using desktop, okay? And if you will notice, what we're using right now is Google, Google desktop search, right? But if you will search for, if you will be using your mobile phone and do the same search, it will definitely get you a different result, okay? We have some screenshots later on to, to illustrate. So as an SEO specialist, you need to understand that there were updates that happened uh, for the last five years that made, the, that made a significant effect on, on search results. Okay. So if, you, if you're doing SEO for your clients or your, for, your, for your websites, um, a lot has, has happened during these updates, okay? Okay. And maybe the rest, uh, uh, we'll, we'll skip that because we're, we're on a tight, tight one-hour schedule. Okay, so we'll just focus more on the, la the latest ones that has happened um, around last year, March, which was the Florida update. We also have the uh, Medic update. 
which also happened last year around August and sometime during mid some major core updates I think that's uh, the medic update is included on that on that period the birth update which I briefly discussed which happened late last year and a few more core updates which happened early this year okay um, uh, important to highlight uh, what happened this year was the feature extended deduplication, meaning um, Google was to 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 illustrate some more on feature extended deduplication. Google sort of so that so that if if a user uh, is searching for a particular query, sometimes. Um, search results get duplicated on the first page. For example, in this particular example, um, which I got actually from Search Engine Land, you should follow that, that, the, that um, resource. If you search for SEO skills, okay. If you notice on the first page, before, before the featured snippet update, if you search for SEO skills, you will get searchenginejournal.com on the first page being showcased as a snipe. That's called that's what we call a snipe. Um, it has some descriptive information already, plus the 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 title and the URL. That's a, the snipe is above those two. Uh, before the featured snipe update the search engine land journal is on top of the results page but also it can it will also be found somewhere on still on the first page but somewhere below <clears throat> and this is this is this is significant because it it pushes down one more one more search result from the top uh, uh, from the top one page and Google sees that as sort of a something to be improved upon since, since you don't have to get to visibility. Uh, you're already promoted with a snippet at the top of the page and then mention you again somewhere at the somewhere in the middle or the bottom of the same top one page. It's sort of uh, killing off another another useful information. So what Google did was, we will guarantee that you will not get two uh, slots on the first page. But at, at the most, we will give your second visibility, like on the, on the screenshot here on the right side, on the next page or on the succeeding page. This way, uh, where, uh, Google search was able to insert another useful information or another competitor, if you, if you will take that, on the top page um, as, another, as, another, uh, as another useful information presented to our users. So that's what featured snipe that is. So it's a small thing, but it's important to note that it happened uh, if you are a search uh, if, uh, if you are an SEO specialist. Okay, and another one, uh, okay. I've been discussing Google Core Updates. What are Google Core Updates? So sometimes Google is rolling out uh, Google Core Update. It can be one or it can be a series of core updates happening simultaneously together or happening one after another. Uh, but when Google says it's a core update, SEO specialists uh, are really nauhulog na sa upuan and are immediately following analytics and the traffic and immediately monitoring their performance on, on analytics because Google said uh, Google says it's a core update. Once Google says it's a core update, it's basically uh, you know um, as as from Google itself it says one way to think of how a core update operates is to imagine you have you have this uh, list of search results uh, last month, 
And then we're saying, Google is saying, we need to purge our, our database and to refresh it and you will be expecting a major um, set of changes or uh, a new set of results coming in, uh, taking over the last month's results, uh, replacing the last month's results. So that's important. That's, well, that's the time when um, Google says it's a core update or a set of core updates happening. Okay. And as a guideline, Google says, uh, uh, if, if we're saying these are core updates, we're immediately saying this has a lot to do with uh, content, uh, content quality, content relevancy. Uh, no need to, we don't need to go over one by one in these items. Uh, I guess Paul will be providing the deck later on, even the, the transcript. Uh, I think the video itself will be uploaded. So just go over later on. Uh, another core update guideline is that, uh, how is it presented and produced? Um, is it in proper English? You know, Google is very smart enough already to check that. Um, was it curated well editorially? Uh, was it presented in, 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 in a user-friendly with uh, of course, ads are accepted, but without too much excessive um, ads, you know, that sometimes, naalala niyo dati if you are, especially if you're using mobile, and then we go to, you know, uh, these news, news publishing websites like CNN, Inquirer, uh, BBC, tapos ang una natin yung experiences, are, especially on the homepage, alam mo yung puro ads, at the top and at the bottom, tapos konti na lang yung information sa gitna, Google killed that. Alright. It still, uh, it still, it still allows the, ano, hindi naman makakontrol ni Google kung anong gagawin mo sa website mo. If you want ads, tag-tag ng ads yung website mo, especially your homepage, wala siyang magagawa. It's your choice, really. But, what Google is saying, kung maran kang ganong ads, uh, to the point na hindi na siya masyadong user friendly uh konti na lang yung information na hinahanap ng user at puro ads na nang makikita niya will will be sort of penalizing you and will push you down and will demote you in favor of uh websites that has more uh, that has less ads that has more useful uh, that has ads but more useful and targeted uh, without compromising the content that the the relevant and the useful content and the actual content that the user is searching for, he will he will uh, Google will actually promote that over over your websites na puro tagtag ng ads. So that's important to note, okay? So and also another guideline for Google core updates will be. Um, the comparative questions, okay. Does the content provide substantial value when compared to other pages in search results? Dito na papasok yun, how unique is your content? Ano bang may offer mo? Okay. Uh, does the content seem to be serving the genuine interest of visitors to the site? Or does it seem to exist solely by someone attempting to guess what may rank well in search engines? Eto, the second bullet point, pinapatay niyo na yung traditional SEO that we have been doing as SEO specialists for the last five to ten years, no? Five to ten years. Traditional SEO ngayon, patay na. <gasps> what we're saying in the SEO community, this is now the time of content writing. Um, alam namin yan na we accept that. That's, uh, it's, a sad, uh, it's a sad truth for SEO, a traditional SEO specialist, but uh, it's a good, it's a good um, evolution. It's a good SEO evolution for for our users in general, for our normal search users, because it improves the quality and the relevancy, and you know the the practical information na makukuha niya. They get immediate, uh, they get quality results immediately. 
our users get um, accurate information immediately and the latest information immediately. Um, hindi na yun yung, alam mo yun, dati also yung uh, SEO, what you call it, SEO farming, okay? Uh, we tend to, you know, farm information, cross-link that with one article to another na lahat naman kami gumagawa uh, Because that was ramping well before. But now, patayin na yan. Okay. So what is, bakit ako may transformers dito? Another thing that happened is the Google search, uh, uh, the birth update. Uh, if you will notice on the, on the screenshots, before, if uh, a user is searching for 2019 Brazil traveler to USA, uh, needing a visa. Ang hinahat ni user dito is, I am a traveler, a Brazil travel, uh, uh, traveler from Brazil, going to USA, and I would need a visa for last year, 2019. Ako itong user na to, traveler, go, uh, traveler coming from Brazil, but will be going to USA and will be needing a visa. Ang dating pinapakita ng results is the Washington Post article on US citizens can travel to Brazil without the red ribbon, which is, which is a useful information for a Brazil traveler, but Specifically, hindi targeted. Hindi, hindi to targeted sa akin. Hindi ito yung hinahanap ko. Because the first article is saying, it's just saying na, okay, parang baligtad. If you're any traveler going to Brazil without a visa and so on and so forth, parang ganun, di ba? Which is not entirely accurate. Ang gusto ko is what happened after the birth update. Ito, very targeted. Uh, the second information, U.S. Embassy for Brazil, for Brazil uh, travelers or for Brazil citizens or for people coming from Brazil, applying for visas. Targeted, right? Yun yung, that's what happened during the birth update. Naging mas smart na si Google in such a way na nakuha niya na yung, yung very accurate na yung pagkukuha ng information. I think we have to fast track because my topic is uh, only until 11.45 lang yata. Tama ba, Paul? I hope we get some more extension. Kung papayag si Paul. <laughs> okay. So, search engine optimization. Uh, again, I said traditional SEO is dead. Mobile first, as we've said. Uh, our high red. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, this, this time swing, kailangan na rin natin ng mga experts who will be able to assess our websites in terms of speed because malaking bagay na sa Google search na yan to. If Google uh, sees that your website is too slow, it does not load immediately with the first three seconds, three to five seconds, ihuhuli ka niya, i-demote ka niya sa search result. No? Napaka ano? Napaka... Napaka demanding ni Google, right? But he he will he will promote he will uh, give uh, preference to websites that loads within the first three seconds. So important ngayon na SEO specialists are also, in a way, parang web developers rin or uh, technical guys din who are who will be able to check on your speed on, your, on, on the speed and the loading performance of your website, and also. Uh, eto traditional SEO pa rin to. HTML tags, uh, HTML tags, audience schema, headings, buhay ni buhay pa rin yan, making use of H1, H2, H3. Why is it important, the headings? Because uh, Google, uh, Google search bots are not looking at your website visually. What I mean is, hindi niya titignan to, hindi niya titignan yung website mo as uh, so what your usual user is seeing, no, visually. Wala siya pakialam really sa design. It does, not, it does not care if your design looks like this or not. What Google search bots are seeing is actually the source code. Okay. This is what he is seeing. And ang magiging useful sa kanya, ang magiging guide sa kanya dyan, are the HTML tags. And specifically, yung page title tag mo and all those other tags. And pagdating sa headings, 
he will try to find ano mga mga H1 niya. Okay. And if you will notice, this website is ranking well because heading 1 niya talaga immediately, it says it says something about seafood paella. Paella, yung inahanap ng tao. Right? And another one, pagdating naman sa H2, ano bang sinasabi ng H2 niya? It's a descriptive heading but it, it is also telling you something about paella pa rin. What is paella? And the first one was seafood paella recipe. It still says everything about paella and recipe, right? So if you are trying to optimize your website using the headings, make it in such a way na useful siya. Alagi kong sinasabi, make it, uh, consider the headings like, how would you read a book? Pag tumitingin ka sa table of contents, right? Of course, you will be expecting na ang, ang chapter 1 mo, ito yung title, ito yung main topic. And your sub uh, subtopics mo under chapter 1 will also be relating to your chapter 1 topic and so on and so forth. Chapter 2, subtopics, chapter 2, etc. That's how you would be working with headings. And in this case, you will be needing a lot of support from your content writers or editor, editorial colleagues if you have one. Okay? So again, fast track lang tayo. Uh, you, can, uh, you can later on read up about this. So up to the deck. Drupal SEO. Okay. There are a lot of Drupal SEO modules. Uh, currently in uh, being offered already in the Drupal community. Okay, to search for Drupal SEO modules, just go to Drupal uh, Drupal.org, the official repository. Okay, this is what's good with Drupal, no? Uh, centralize ang mga repositories you know, of everything. If you want modules, nandito. If you want themes, nandito. And if you want distributions, nandito rin. Okay, so going over to Drupal modules, how to search for Drupal modules? You can actually do a Drupal search, a Google search like Drupal module, and then you know the name of the module already, like SEO checklist, which is one of the good SEO, one of the most essential SEO modules. Derecho yan, no? Makikita mo nito. But if you are still grappling for more information, hindi mo pa alam anong kailangan mo. Go to drupal.org project module, dito sa modules, and then search for, okay, the current stable version right now is Drupal 8. So, filter immediately Drupal 8, Drupal 8, and then go to the topics, uh, where is our topics, categories, module categories, go immediately to SEO. And what I would do always is the most installed. If I am still looking for modules, most installed, ibig sabihin mga sikat na. Ang ginagamit na ng karamihan. Fully tested, sikat, so probably most useful. Okay. And one of these, uh, the first ones that, that are being offered is meta tags, SML sitemap, and breadcrumbs, and so on and so on and so forth. What is meta tag? Meta tag is something like okay. Have you experienced it? Na for example, okay. So I need to show you my <laughs> my Facebook. Okay. If 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 you will be oh sorry. If you will be search. Uh, if you will be posting something on your on your on your Facebook, like for example, of what? Uh, Drupal Camp Manila 2020. If you will notice, we have an article there on Drupal Camp and it ranked well on the first page. Of course, di namin matatalo ang Drupal Camp Facebook. Drupal.org. So, essentially, we did good. And then we implemented a schema tag uh, for event. Okay. If I want to share a uh, uh, particular article on Facebook, for example, okay, for example, this one, yung page mismo ng Drupal Manila natin. 
if I share that on Facebook or even on LinkedIn or Twitter, okay, bumagal, bumagal internet ko because maybe the kids are up already. <laughs> okay. Sometimes hindi lumalabas yung ano, di ba? Yung proper title, yung image, and the description, di ba? What helped there is the OG tabs. Okay. Let's see if merong OG tag dito. Meron ba? <laughs> Ayun. Okay. If you'll notice, the Drupal Camp Manila has OG tabs here. Okay. Called OG title. Okay. OG description. Even OG Twitter. Of OG image. Then yung mga ginagamit ng Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter in showing information about your website or kung ano yung engineer mo. So kung if it's not reviewable correctly, make sure na meron kang meta tab module uh, with your Drupal website. Okay? So that's one. Uh, what else? Uh, we'll just quickly go over because kulang tayo sa oras. Okay. Okay. Uh, XML sitemap. Okay. XML sitemap. This is important. Okay. Not the simple XML, but yung sitemap talaga. Okay. Check this out na yung simple sitemap. XML sitemap. I think ito yung, oh sorry, wrong spelling. Drupal XML sitemap. Okay. So that's the thing. Ito yun, sinasabi. One of the most recommended din. What does this do? Okay. This makes sure that your... Punta tayo sa isang website ko. This makes sure that your website has a proper XML, has a proper sitemap in XML generated, showing you, uh, generating uh, an XML, XML sitemap that will be used by by your Google Google Search Console. Pwede mong ibigay isubmit to kay Google itong sitemap mo to tell him, hey, ito yung mga dapat mong i-crawl. Ito ang priority mo. And this can, and this, this will be frequently changing on a daily basis. Or maybe priority mo, etong number one priority mo. Yung mga iba mo yung mga pangalawa na lang. That's, what that's, it. that's an XML sitemap. And you can achieve that using XML sitemap module. Okay. What else na mga useful sa Drupal modules? Okay. Uh, we also have... So far, let's cover those two. That's, uh, that's, the, those are essentials. But if you want more uh, modules to check, what I will immediately recommend is go over with SEO checklist module. Install that because what does it do? If you will notice, it will, it's a module that will check for other modules and for other SEO implementations. Meron ka na bang nilagay na, na analytics? Meron ka na bang nilagay na meta tag module? Meron ka na bang nilagay na XML sitemap module? So, you want guided ka na agad. So, in short, even if I don't have to proceed with this presentation anymore, sabihin ko lang sa inyo na install, check out SEO checklist module, install that, make it work, bibigyan ka na niya ng guide on how to proceed step by step with other SEO initiatives. Okay, so any questions? Uh, uh, I guess the rest of the people have gone, gone already because they'll be attending other sessions already. So, yun, I guess Paul and L, if may mga questions, ang kukunin na lang nila yan. Okay, uh, I guess that's it. Mm, uh, any questions for those nandito pa? Wala na? Okay. So thanks for attending guys and stopping the share. All right. Thank Any questions? you, Sergio.
medyo limited time so uh, I was actually hoping na I could demo some more stuff which is more useful actually and more practical uh, but fortunately maybe reach reach out to me and I can actually I've been doing that for the last two three weeks I've been having uh, free webinars uh, reach out to me sabihin nyo kailangan nyo pag merong isa dalawa tatlo atin I'll do a free webinar okay promise okay El thank you Paul thank you questions wala Jerome how to be you po naku po nauna lang tayo sabi ko nga <laughs> tayo dalawa nauna lang tayo darating din sila dyan Alright. Okay, at least we have a people there, no? Okay, oh, video naman sana. Uh, just ano. Oh, well, guys. Uh, actually, kung walang video, pwede rin photo. Pwede naman. Pwede rin photo na rin. Okay. Yan, yeah. Oscar. <laughs> Jonifer, please, video muna. Eh, matcha ni Jonifer pala, eh. <laughs> Then, yung kain. Or photo lang. Rex, James, Anna. And feel free to unmute yourself. Say something, no? Meet, meet the guys here. Okay. Ah, wala. Nahiya na yata sila. <laughs> Or screenshot, Paul. Okay, say hi. Hi. <laughs> All right. Okay, yan. Lori, nakahabol pa. Screenshot tayo. Screenshot video. Hi, Wen. Looking good. Anna. Okay. Yung iba, shy type talaga. So. Again, just to inform everyone, if you need uh, a more comprehensive webinar, which I have been doing for the last three weeks, two weeks, three weeks, you can have a free webinar. Just reach out to me. <laughs> All reach out, we can organize a free one, a free webinar, okay? For SEO specifically, more useful, mga two to three hours, you can do demo, actual demo, technical hands-on stuff, more questions and answers, okay? Okay. Let's Thank you, everyone. Part. Thank you, Sir Jerome. And our next, uh, uh, our next topic for this room is 1:45. Okay. Uh, identifying accessibility issues and how to fix them by Sir Adrian. So, guys, thank you so much. Have a great lunch. And uh, awesome. Thank you. They can stay around, no? Yeah. Uh, this will be open. Hanggang sa mag So, you can uh, feel free to stick uh, in this room and... Uh, Can, I mean, we can also discuss things, but yeah, um, we can also uh, stay. So. For another five minutes, any questions, let me know. Wala na? Oh, baka gutom na rin. Oh, gutom na lahat. But, uh, <laughs> okay. All right. So, thanks everyone. Thanks. Thank you.